everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am hopping on. Um, I thought I would do an unboxing and a little chat. And um, yeah, so this is, it's Monday. So I'm actually filming today's video. Uh, I The weekends lately, I just have not caught up with videoing. I was doing um, all of my videos in one day this summer when so much was going on. And lately, our weekends have been so busy, so I haven't had time on the weekends to get my Monday videos filmed. So it's going to be today. It's just going to be a little bit later than this morning, like I usually like to do it. Um, I actually purchased this item here next to me on Prime Day. Um, I will put a link down below if you are interested in getting one of these. Um, I actually have not even opened it yet. Um, but I knew I was going to need it. Uh, you guys know last week we went ahead and sheared our goats. And um, this week, which I think is going to be Friday's video, I'm going to start um, <clears throat> cleaning and washing all of the fiber. And so I needed something um, to dry it on. And I don't have uh, a lot of times when I dry yarn and things like that, I will, if it's yarn, I hang it out off our deck and let it um, dry there. I also have a wooden clothing rack that I can hang yarn on next to a register, a wall register, and then we'll dry that way. When I'm doing fiber though, um, a lot of times I will put it, like I'll put a towel out in the sun on our deck and I'll lay it out there that way. Um, I did have a single layer sweater rack um, that I was using and that broke. And I've gotten rid of it. Um, I had it all taped up and it was just every time I moved it the leg would fall off from it. So I'm like no this isn't gonna work. So I got this one and actually this is if I remember right this is a four or five layer rack. A stackable rack. Um, if I remember right. I think that's the one I purchased. So I'm gonna unbox this and put it together. Um, Hopefully I don't have to go. I brought my little toolbox. I don't think there's anything else that I will need, but we will find out. I am doing a bunch of stuff this week. Um, today, after I get done doing this and get this uploaded, I'm gonna finish off my Christmas stocking, which I, I think you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, saw the Christmas stocking that I'm working on. Um, I do those every year. I talked about it. I actually think I talked about it in the last video or one of the last videos. It's a it's a old old vintage pattern from like the 60s that my husband's grandma passed along to me and I started making them and so I get orders every year from people that used to buy from her and family members and things like that. So um oops and I've got screws. It looks like the uh screw package broke so I have screws all over so hopefully I think the ends were taped pretty good so I don't think hopefully I won't have any missing but I do have them all over the floor here <clears throat> um, so I'm working on that today um, I want to get that out in the mail tomorrow and get that one done um, and I have some jewelry uh, specific jewelry color requests that I want to dye yarn for so I'm going to be dyeing yarn this week um, I may do I did some Wednesday videos just to like music and things like that and I may put together a Wednesday video this week um, showing you what I'm working on but um, yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing this week I'm still I'm actually as you can see I'm in our basement um, the kitchen where I usually die is right here. And this was our youngest son's bedroom um, and his dresser, which is still here. <laughs> and I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, but he got married this summer and moved out. And so this bedroom is empty except for, it does have a bed in it and we will keep it that way. Um, we have five kids and spouses and grandkids. And a lot of times they'll come over and spend the weekend with us. So. The bed will stay in there, but I'm debating on moving some office stuff and things like that down here into this area. Um, you guys have seen my my office. Uh, it's a little closet office. 
and I love it. Um, it has great bones to it, but it does get crowded in there with all the spinning wheels and the fiber stuff and everything. And so I'm debating on bringing at least some of my wheels down here, um, maybe to store or to spin down here. Um, we have, this is a whole, we have a living room down here and our game room is down here. The kitchen's down here. We have a bathroom down here. So I could move everything down here and um, spin down here and everything. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I may, I, I did take, the closet was empty, surprisingly. And so I put a lot of my fiber in the closet and, <clears throat> sorry, I got a tickle in my throat today. Um, so I did fill up the closet with fiber. So I may bring some more stuff down from my little office area and kind of divide it a little bit. Um, I don't think this room won't have enough room to bring everything down here anyways. And so I probably won't do that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's some of the stuff I'm working on today. <clears throat> Tomorrow, today we had our first heavy frost. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't been out to the garden yet, but I'm pretty sure it wiped out the rest of the garden. I had raspberries out there that I was going to go pick and didn't get to that. Um, I had some tomatoes I could have taken off last night and didn't get that done. So I'm pretty certain it, it killed the garden. So tomorrow I'm going to spend the day. We're supposed to be in the seventies. I think I saw 76 tomorrow. Um, and then we drop off and we have snow in the forecast next week. So it's one of those weeks of transition for Michigan weather and she's not quite sure what to do, but <laughs> we're, we've got all the, uh, the weather coming in in the next seven days or so. It is beautiful out today. The colors are, um, really, really gorgeous around here. And so, um, I might do a little video on that for Wednesday. Maybe that will be part of it and show you guys the beautiful colors and, but it is nice out, but it's chilly out today. So, um, so this is what I'm going to be putting together. It's on wheels. There's five racks. Uh, I thought this would be perfect for drying yarn, drying fiber, especially as I start sorting through, um, start sorting through all of my Angora goat fiber. And I have, I'm going to do, uh, the cleaning. I, I need to, that'll be a video later this week. Also, um, I need to go through and sort it out and pull out all the vegetable matter, the VM, and get it ready to wash. So that will probably be Friday's video, and then I'll start washing. I'm still waiting for some strainers for my big wash tub upstairs. I have a utility tub in the in the laundry room, and <clears throat> I want to make sure that um, I have mesh strainers so that I'm not clogging our drains because my husband would not be thrilled with that. Um, so I, those were supposed to be delivered this weekend and I haven't seen them yet. So hopefully today that those will get here. So these are just the, um, typical, I don't even know if this is a plastic cloth. I'm not certain what that is, but it's just mesh. Um, and so there's that. And I think those go on each of the pipes down here. So I am probably going to put this to music, speed it up, and put this together if I can see. This is uh, one of my favorites. It's just pictures, so this shouldn't take me too long. So stay tuned.
Okay, guys, I paused it there to uh, finish this out because I actually had it wrong. Make sure you look. Um, the This back side, this is the first piece you put together. Make sure that these are M's at the top. Um, these tops have plugs in them. The other end has holes, screw holes for the feet. So you want it to be an M away from the feet. This goes upright. So um, just a little tidbit there so you don't have to go back through. And I am not going to film all of this, but essentially all I'm going to do is take this. I don't pop my eye out. And you're going to run the mesh things from side to side. And there are, I guess there are five of them. And they just go like that. So I am going to finish this off and then I just have the side legs and then there's a, uh, a middle brace to put on. Um, just identical to this side. So um, I hope this video was helpful. I will snap a picture of this finished, throw it in the end here. Um, but I will not make you watch me put the rest of this together. Um, so I'm thinking that this is going to be perfect for my fleeces to dry. Um, it has wheels. I can move it around. We have, uh, our furnaces are on the wall. No, I can't remember what they're, I guess wall furnaces. Um, the, the registers are along the wall, the baseboard register, I think is what they're called. Uh, so I could, I could slide one of these or slide this next to it with fiber on it to get it dry. We also have a propane, um, an electric insert, a propane insert in our fireplace. And so I could just wheel this right in front of the fireplace without having to worry about smoke or anything like that. And that's probably what I'll end up doing to dry the fleece. Um, on nice days, you can wheel it right outside. So this is going to be really nice and perfect to dry all kinds of yarn, fiber, fleece, um, whatever you've got going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you get to create something today and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.